is it. Okay. We got this right from the river. I'm sorry for this. I'm handling this by hand. part of our video on how to culture the tube effects worm. I'm glad that we have already set this up and uh, in our first video we've showed to you how we prepared all the stuffs here. And today, I'm going to show to you now the actual piping connections of this tube effects worm. So we're using right here this one because the water will drip down over here. As you can see here, I have submersible pump and I have the tube connected to the submersible pump and the water is running through this pipe and this is now the, the result. The water is here. But my intention is to cover this in and make a hole perpendicular to these uh, containers so that the water will flow and the water here will trickle down there we will make a small hole here and we will allow the water to drip down so that the tube effects of the second layer will also be provided with oxygen so I'm going to make a hole on this pipe to provide water here so this is it I'm gonna make a small hole right here Okay, another hole here. Okay, and another hole here. Make this a little bit more bigger. And this one. Okay, and I have this one. So, to put a good pressure the water will cover the end of the tube with this one we'll cover this and then put in here okay. watch it we'll seal this one so that we will have a good pressure on the water okay it's quick dry. That's it. Okay. So this submersible pump is connected now here to the pipe right here. And the pressure of the water will go up. We'll try this one. 
hope it will work. So it's dripping now. Yes, that's it. It can't reach up to the end, so we will cover this one again. This is a Black Knight submersible pump, and this is 18 watts. What we're gonna do is we'll remove this one. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm putting a cover on this second outlet because this submersible pump has two outlets one up and one for the fish and one for the filter box so this is now the result okay so have another try I hope it will work It's working and and you will note that this is made of aluminum I intentionally fabricated this made of aluminum because if you're going to use wood or an iron for this it will become rusty it will also damage your fish Each of this container will have Tubifex worm. So I am going to make a hole at the side of the container and I'm going to put this at the top so that when this will be filled up with water the water will just drip down to the hole. Okay, this is it. I think it's cut already. Okay. So that's it. Just on the single side of it. down up and down if you're viewing our video right now maybe you can share your knowledge about this tube effects worm culture and I understand we are now having a system of water flow from the fish pan going up down and you can imagine if you have plenty of food supplies live food then you're breeding of ornamental fishes will really really become very successful if you have this to be fixed worm. Next to be worm. And in the next video we're going to show to you what food they wanna eat so that they will become plenty. This is it. Okay. We got this right from the river. I'm sorry for this and handling this by hand. Okay. So that's it now. That's it now. This will lie to the fix. And if you have some more suggestions, you can help us, you can share your experiences also in culturing this tube effects worm. We will give you an update about the result of this uh, setup. And I'm sure that next week this will produce plenty of 
small activity just to run. Thank you guys for watching and we hope that this setup now will help you if you are intending to culture to the next worm maybe the setup will help you and if you are expert on this tubiflex one reading please do a comment and please help us how to improve our techniques on tubiflex worm reading thank you guys and i hope you will like and share thank you for our new subscribers welcome to our channel if you haven't subscribed please subscribe only here at Dexter's Word.